create so much controversy don't they clones somebody saying I've got a Nemi clone I've got a ego clone I've got a this clone I've got a that clone I've got the other clone I'm not gonna pay 120 quid for something that I can get for a tenner from the Chinese website that shall not be named clones A few people probably know I was for a, an awful long time a musician. I would point you, therefore, at Fender Stratocasters and Fender Telecasters, Gibson SGs and various other guitars that have at one point or another in their lifespans become almost legendary. Within two years of Leo Fender's Stratocaster being launched there were copies of it on the market and Fender being Fender and being rightly very um, protective of their intellectual property they sought to take people to court companies that were producing copies or clones of the original Fender Stratocaster but a few years later these copiers the cloners who were really paying tribute to the powerhouse that was the Strat cottoned on to the fact that if they changed the design a little and didn't call it a Stratocaster simply let the shape do the calling for them they realized that there wasn't a problem and at some point during the course of Fender's existence they realized that a low quality Stratocaster copy sold Stratocasters the reason being generally speaking the audio quality the sound quality out of the clone was utter crud but the general feel the shape the feel around the neck, the feel in the rib cage, the feel of the hand on the whammy bar, that kind of thing was something that the player wanted. They also realized that if you went and bought a 55 or 60 pound Fender Stratocaster copy, you would be much more likely when the funds permitted to buy the real I am Fender. And in some cases, the copies were so good that Fender went and bought out the companies that were doing them and kept the copies on the market but rebadged them. And this is a point. What is now Fender Japan was a copier, a creator of copied Stratocasters, but they didn't call it a Stratocaster. I don't know what they called it but it wasn't a Stratocaster and they didn't have Stratocaster copy they didn't have Stratocaster clone they called it whatever it was they called it I don't know let's say it was um, a Doobry what's it so you would go and buy this Japanese Doobry what's it that looked very very similar to a Fender Stratocaster felt very very similar but it wasn't sold on the Stratocaster name and this is something that really pisses me off about the Chinese copyists and they're not alone the whole notion of creating a copy of a successful atomizer or battery tube or whatever it happens to be it's not unusual it happens in every industry there are car manufacturers that will take the best bits from their competition and build them into their own. There are guitar makers, drum makers, there's all kinds, skis, violins, you name it. Every kind of 
industry that you can think of, they take the best bits and then produce a device that's as close to it as they can legally get without being taken to court and getting cease and desist orders. But they never call them the same name as the original. And that, I'm afraid, is something, as I said, that really gets to me about ACs. You will see things like, this is a Nemesis clone. It's not a Nemesis. It shouldn't be called a Nemesis. The word Nemesis shouldn't be in there. Call it something else, but don't call it a Nemesis. Because there are people out there who might well believe they are buying the original and they need to know that they're not. So don't call it a Nemesis. And the same applies with the Squape clones. Don't call it a Squape. Call it something else, but don't call it a Squape. So this, if you like, is a bit of a plea to all of the Chinese. Yes, I know you're short-circuiting everything. Yes, I know you are making what should be high-end product available at low-end prices. Sometimes at the same level of quality, sometimes utter rubbish quality, and in some cases, better quality. But whatever, don't call it the same name as the original. It's misleading. And if you're a vendor, you know, we were talking last time about OEMing things. This is where you do need to OEM. If you're going to get these clones in and you're going to sell them, call them something bloody different. Get a different box with a different name on. And make sure that none of these clones, none of these copies, have the original identifying marks and logos on them. They should not have that. They really shouldn't. Because at some point, somebody somewhere on the classifieds on the forum is going to try and flog a clone as an original and some poor sucker is going to get caught out. Because not everybody that uses an e-cig is as honest as you and me. There are some nasty buggers out there. The nasty buggers that have nicked mods from various different events that have been on. So yeah, vendors, the OEM stuff we were talking about last time, OEM clones so that they've got a different name and don't have the laser engraved markings that the originals have on. I hate that with a vengeance. You'll never stop cloning, but let's not make it easy, eh? Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.